Hello, good morning all. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about how to create XLS or XLS report in Odoo version 12. So first of all, if I go to settings, I will just activate the developer mode for you here. So once uh, the developer mode is activated, I will go to the settings and okay, from here I will select the settings, then to the technical and then the reports from the action menu. You can open the report from here. So from here, I will open any of the report and if I check the report types, you can see by default, we have only three types of report that is HTML, PDF and text report. So first what we have to do is that we have to add a new report type into the Odoo. For that purpose, we will use a community module available in the Odoo app store for free. So that module is you can see from OCA that is report XLS. So if I search report XLS here, you can get it. So this is not by default available in Odoo. What I have done is I have downloaded the module from the Odoo app store and I have added the module into my custom add-ons. So if I open the module info, if I click on here, you can see the technical name of the module is report underscore XLS and the name is base report XLS. So you can download this module from Odoo app store and add it into your custom add-ons. So once I install this module, so once before installing this module, make sure that these Python packages are installed in the system. That is pip3, pip3 install XLS writer and pip3 install XLRD. So these packages has to be installed in your system, else the module won't get installed. So we have installed the report.xls. Now if I go to settings and then technical and then to the reports menu here, you can see a new report type will get added into the system. Once we earlier when we have checked, we have only three reports set report types. Right now we have got four report types that is XLS6. So new report type has been added into the system from the custom module that we have downloaded from the Odoo app store. The module is module name is report XLS, report underscore XLSX. So if I go to the apps menu and if I search the report XLS again, so this module is providing us the new report type XLSX. So let's see how we can create a new report. So if I go to the hospital menu, and I will go to the patients menu. So here we can see we have already created a new we have already created a PDF report for the patient card. You can see we are getting a PDF report of patient card. So let's see how we can create a new report of type XLS XLSX for the same. So we will add a new report here that is patient card XLS. Right now we have PDF report. So we will generate same report in a Excel format. So for that, first of all, I will go to the corresponding module. That is, uh, if I go to custom add-on so you can see report xls is already added in the system so this is the module we have seen in the front end so if i close these files which i have opened here or just close all the files and what is why most of so this is the module that we are continuing the development and we have to add first of all we have to make add a report tag so we are going to create a new xls report so this is the report tag of the patient uh, patient card pdf report so i will copy the same and i will paste it here and I will rename the ideas XLS. I will give a name as XLS and I will give the string as patient card Excel report and model is same that is hospital.patient in the report type it's XLSX. XLSX. So you have to specify the report type as XLSX. Earlier we have pure PDF right now the report type is XLSX. So if I go to settings uh, technical and reports and if i open the, any of the reports you can see once you place the mouse over my nice mouse over it you can see the name of xlsx is small letter xlsx so we have specified this here and we have to give a name for the file that is i'll give the file name name of the file as report patient xlsx so xls so i'll copy the same and i will put as file name so what we have done is we have created a report tag that is new report tag is added and in that we have given an unique id for the report tag a string is given as patient card excel model is hospital.patient and report type is xlsx this is the main important thing and name is name of the file is given so let's upgrade the module right now and see what happens so i have already told once you just add the report tag you will get the corresponding report in the print menu so this report.xml file is already called in the init file you can see the report.xml file has been called called here in the manifest file so let's go to the front end and let's upgrade the module so i will go to the apps menu and from the apps menu i will upgrade the module so from here i will upgrade the module so once the module is upgraded in the patient if you open a patient record and in the top of the record you will have the print button and inside the print button you will get this string that is if i take the file that is you will can see this string that is patient card excel string can be seen there 
so the module got upgraded i will go to the hospital and then to the patients right now you can see patient card excel got added here so if i click on here you will get an error message because we haven't written the rest of the functions so just the print has been got added here from the report type now we have to design the rest of the things so i will open this same thing in a new tab and if i go to the apps menu and if i search for the report xls module report xls x module and if i open the module info you will have get a fair idea about how to create the module from here itself you can see this is the report type that we have added right now that is id is given model is squared string is given report type is xlsx etc is done now rest of the thing has to be done inside python class so let's create a python file here inside the report dot reports folder so i'll create a new python file click on new and from the python file i will create a new python file that is patient card patient underscore card xlsx xls so i have created a new python file here inside the reports folder so obviously i have to add a new init file here that is init file init file has to be two underscore init followed by two underscore again two underscore dot py so what we have done is we have so this init file has to be called from the outer init file so from here i will call that reports folder from dot imports board reports that's done then here from this init file i have to call this python file so from here from dot from dot import this file patient card xls so from here i have imported this then inside this python file we have to do the rest of the things so if i go to the front end you can see here is a sample so i'll just copy the same thing so i'll just copy the same thing from here and click on right click and copy and i will paste it inside the new file that we have created so i'll just correct the intentions okay the intention is corrected we have imported from auto import models and i'll give the class name as patient card xls like that i'll give a name you can give the class name as as you need so i have given the name as patient card xls and for the reports we will use models dot abstract model for so earlier we have discussed different models like for the database models we have we will use models dot models and for the transient model we will use models dot transient model and models dot abstract model is used for the reports so you have to give the model as models dot abstract model and in the name here you can see report followed by module name so our module name is om underscore hospital so i will copy the module name that is module name is om underscore hospital that is given here then the report name in the report report name is you can see here we have given the report name as report patient xls so i will copy this name and i will put it here so in the name i have given us report that is report dot module name so this is the module name om hospital module name is given and the report name so you can see the name of the report is report patient xls so i have given that name here inside the name of the abstract model that's done and you have to inherit this model that is report dot report xls dot abstract has to be inherited then you have to define a function with the name generate xls report with the parameters self workbook data and you can give anything here so that's done so we have generated we have added a file so let's adjust the some formats here so instead of the file we have copied from that module here if i go to the firefox you can see this is what we have copied from here so i have already typed something here inside uh, my document text file so i will copy the things from here what i have written tested earlier so i'll just copy the thing and i will add the same thing here inside the diff generate xls file inside this function so i have copied some lines and added it here so i'll just comment it out for right now and i will explain one by one i'll just make some comments in the code just come make some comments you can see inside right now we have inside generate xls report files uh, inside diff uh, that is inside diff gen, uh, generate xls report function i have already only single line that is workbook dot add worksheet with the name patient card so earlier when we have clicked on earlier once we clicked on this print button we are getting an error message so we right now we have defined a generate xls report function in the new fully created abstract model so let's restart the service and see what happens right now so the service is restarted now i'll just update the module so i'll go to the apps menu and from the apps menu i will upgrade our module that is 
hospital management module so let's upgrade the module so once after the module is upgraded uh, and you go to the patient form view and if you click on patient card xls you will get a xls report and it will be of empty data so module is getting upgraded okay module got upgraded successfully so i will go to the hospital and then to the patients and you can see we have patient card excel report here so i will click on it so once you click on it you can see we are getting an dot xls file so i will open this i'll click on ok you can see the excel file is getting opened you can see the name sheet of the name is patient card and right now it's an empty data so this is how simply you can generate an excel report in odoo so what we have done is first of all we have to install report underscore xlx module from odoo app store which is available for free you can just download the module from the store and you can add it in the custom add-ons path and you can install it the module into the database so once you install the module you will get a new report of type xlsx in the database so using that module you can create new xls report so for that first of all we have what we have done is we have defined a report type here that is we have specified the report type as xlsx and an unique id is given string is given as patient card excel model is specified that is hospital.patient and you have to give a name for the report that is om om hospital that is module name dot report patient xls is given then in the python file uh, the python file is imported in the init file and the, in the py python file we have defined a new model with a type as abstract model and here in the name of the model you have to give report dot module name that is module name is om hospital and report patient xls that is what we have given the name of the report in the report dot xml file this name i have given it here and you have to inherit that this class that is report dot report xls dot abstract is inherited to the model and you have to define a function with the name generate xls report and inside the parameter self workbook data and lines is given and inside the function you can see workbook dot add worksheet patient card you can see any patient card that is coming here this is the name of the sheet patient card so this is sim how simply you can generate a excel report in odoo so let's see how we can fetch the data from the record that is let let's print this name you seen here in the excel sheet so for that i have already added some comments here i'll just remove the comments okay and what is worksheet here so i have assigned the sheet worksheet to the a variable that is i have assigned this sheet you can see if i go to excel report this sheet patient card to the variable sheet and inside the sheet sheet dot write we are going to write inside the sheet and i have specified the row number and this is the column number and i am going to print the string as name and i have specified the format of the things that is format one you can see workbook dot add format font size is given as 14 align v center and bold is given as 2 so you can set a format here or you can directly copy this and paste it here so let's see what happens now so i'll just restart the service as i have made changes inside the python and i will print the report again that is from print menu i'll click on patient card excel so it's loading you can see the report is getting opened so you can see name get added that is this is the zero throw one two that is zero one two we have given the row number as 2 and this is the third column a b c we have get given the data in the 2 2 that is row number 2 and column number 2 we have printed the name with the format 1 in the you can see format 1 is font size is given as 14 align v center and bold is given as 2 so let's in the next column that is row number 2 and column number 3 so the data will come here that is this is the row number 2 0 1 2 and column number 3 0 1 2 3 so here we will print the name of the patient so let's see how we can do that so i will go go to corresponding python file here you can see in the lines so if i print print the lines here you can see line is the variable so if i remove the data from here and i will come keep this line as commented so let me print these lines so i will restart the service okay the service get restarted now i will go to the front end and i will click on print patient x card excel so once you generate this report you can see i'll go to here you can see the print we have given here is got printed here that is we are getting the corresponding record that is you can see here it's yasin record and id is 10 we are getting corresponding record here inside the lines 
so using this lens i can print the patient name so i will just remove this comment so that we are going to print the data in row number two and column number three what i'm going to print is lines dot patient name so that the patient name will get printed and i have given new format that is format 2 that is inside this format i have changed the size as 10 and bold is removed so let's restart the service and see the change now i will go to the ui and i will cancel this report and i will click again i will click on patient card excel so you can see right now you will get the name in the report so if i open the report you can see the name is yasin so name code printed in the report so let's add few more data to the code that is i will print the age also the age field name is patient underscore age so i'll go to the pie chart and i will just copy the same line and i will put it here that is row number has to be updated that is next row and here i will give us three column number is same in here i have to give us age format is one and here it will be patient underscore age and with the same format now if i restart the service and i will go to the front end and i will print the patient card excel again okay the report is getting generated once i open the report you can see the age also will get added that is age 10. so this is how simple you can generate an excel report in odoo if you have any queries you can comment it out or reach us over the mail don't forget to download the report underscore xls module from the odoo app store and install it in the system so i'll just give a brief uh, description of what we have done right now First of all, we have downloaded the report XLS module from the Odoo App Store. That is, you can see this is the module. For installing this module, make sure that all the dependent Python packages are installed in the system. So once you install this module in the system, you will get a new report of type XLS X in the system. So using this module, you can generate XLS report. For that, first of all, what we have done is I have in the report.xml file, I have report this defined a new report type of type XLSX and I have given a unique ID, string is given, model is hospital load patient and name for the report is given here then rest of the things has to be done inside the python file so inside the python file i have defined a new model that is of abstract model and the name is given as report dot module name so our module name is om dot hospital and report patient xls which is we have given here in the report tag report patient xls so that's done and don't forget to inherit inherit report dot report xls dot abstract has to be inherited and inside the class we have to write a function with the name report generate xls report and you can design the report so this is all about how to generate an excel report in Odoo. if you have any queries you can comment it out or reach us over the mail thank you